Okay, welcome to this channel, a place for learning SAP ABAB and mastering enterprise development the right way. So if you are a software developer or someone who is curious about SAP ABAB, but you actually don't know where to start, and this is a perfect roadmap for you. So in this video, I'll be showing you the SAP ABAB for beginners step-by-step -step course road roadmap. And this is 2025 edition. So we're going to be learning, build and growing. So we have about four modules in this road roadmap. The first one is getting started with ABAB. And this is your first step into the ABAB development of course and then in the module one in the module two you learn about the tools of the development environment so you master the core abab developers toolkit and then for the third module we go into abab programming fundamentals which is the essential building blocks of sap's programming language and then for the module four we go into the advanced concepts now why should you learn ABAB in 2025 or why should you take this course? First, we know that SAP is one of the largest ecosystems in the world of software, right? And But the deeper you go, the more complex it becomes. And that's why I'm giving out this course to give you a clear structured roadmap so you are not learning randomly or wasting your time. And why you should learn ABAB in 2025 is because of the high demand, you know, which takes us to the market context. As SAP migrates from the ECC to S4 HANA by 2027, the demand for skilled ABAP developers keeps growing. So organizations need professionals who understand both the classical ABAP, which is what we are going, which is what we are going to be doing in this course, and ABAP on HANA, which is something we'll also do later on. So this is the motivation why you should learn ABAP in 2025. 2025 is just two months away. And then in this course, we are also going to be looking at real projects where we gain hands-on knowledge and information. And apart from that, the salary motivation, right? So ABAP developers in Germany, according to StepStone, earn between 52,000 euros and 75,000 per year on average. But then according to Michael Page, that gives out um, yearly salary estimations the amount is different so according to michael page you can see here that for above developer you earn the minimum 65,000 euros and the average 80,000 euros per annum and then the maximum is 90,000 euros but i've seen job adverts that takes more than this if you are into called zoltancy roles and of course these figures does not happen on one day, right? So if you are into the consultancy aspect, which is if you are a functional consultant, for a team lead, you get between some 5,000 euros to 120,000 euros. Of course, that doesn't happen in one day. It takes experience and real projects. But if you start now, you'll be ahead in a few years times flies yeah so experience plus projects will give you the growth which will make you a suitable candidate in no distant time all right so a brief introduction what is sap assuming you don't know what it is and what is the erp and what is abab so sap means enterprise resource planning system which help business to manage finance, logistics, human resources, and every other department. Now for ABAP, ABAP is short form for advanced business application programming. And this is a language that is used to build applications within SAP system. So for more information about what is SAP, what is ERP, I'll leave a link in the description for you to go and have a look and to gain more understanding as this video is just to introduce the pathway for absolute beginner you are lost and you don't know where to start learning sap so this is just a short form and for my subsequent videos i want to be as brief as possible and also pass 
as much information as possible because every video out there has lots of information which are also very important okay all right so let me quickly also go back and explain the modules briefly okay so in module one we start with the basics like we're going to understand the sap graphical user interface understanding the sap workbench creating your first about program using the object navigator that has a transaction code se80 and then learning how to test development system so all this will handle in the module one and then in the second module where we talk about the tools for the development environment we are going to write ABAB programs efficiently and we are going to look at the ABAB editor the screen painter the menu painter the function builder the class the class builder and of course the debugger where you use it to debug your code so we'll learn how all this fit together in real world development so these are actually the tools that you need for your development environment and for the module 3 the ABAP programming fundamentals we dive into the ABAP programming language itself you know every programming language has data types internal tables control structures we look at um, modularization and the mini projects to bring everything all together and finally for the module 4 which is advanced concept we are going to go beyond the basics we are going to explore object oriented programming the above list viewer reporting which is alv then database operations and we'll look at what's the modern concepts such as cds views o data wrap for above and also above on hana all right and that's not all after this beginner course we also move into the advanced topics cds views o data services this is where the future of sap development is heading and we'll also look at joel for above developers that is ai in the above system so if you are interested in this pathway join the journey subscribe like comment and share so this is the roadmap simple if you're already familiar with programming with above you could check out my project based tutorials the leaf management system and also the complete tutorials on the above dictionaries and the three types of alv reports so check them out and let me know what you think all right so in the next video we are going to be getting started with module one and you are going to understand the development in the sap system what are packages transportations and requests and then we look at you know developer um, keys then we see how you can log in into the sap system so you learn how to log in and we work with the object navigator creating our first program using the pretty printer and lots more this is what we are going to be covering in module one so i'll see how this goes if we are going to break it into 10 minutes for every concept or for a whole video so let me also know which method will be better for is it for me to make the whole module and upload as a single video or we can make 10 minutes of each subsection in the respective module so for instance i can make 1.1 and 1.2 for 10 minutes or 5 minutes and then the next one also for 5 minutes i can make these videos on bits and upload and remember that if we want to make the whole module at once then it's going to take more time for me to complete the videos and then upload okay thank you for listening and see you in the next video